before we can begin with any multiplication at all, we have to know our, our rules for multiplying and dividing rational numbers. And I thought I'd cover multiplication and division all together because the rules are the same for both. Um, first things first, let's get it out of the way that a positive times a positive or a positive divided by a positive is always going to still stay positive. Nothing changes just because we're moving up in the world in math. So a positive 8 times a positive 5 is still going to be a positive 4. Now when we introduce a negative number, that's where the rules change. And there's only one other time when we're going to see a positive answer given other than when we multiply or divide two positives by each other. And that's when we have two negatives. If we take a negative 2 and we multiply it by any other negative number, in this case I'll say negative 5, those two negatives when multiplied together are going to give us a positive answer. 5 times 2 is 10, so negative 2 times negative 5 gives us positive 10. Alright, so that's the positive side of things. And what you notice is signs really have to be the same. They both have to start out as both positive, or they both have to start off as negative. Alright, let's see when we're going to get a negative answer. Negative answers only happen when we have one negative sign. So if we start off with, let's say, uh, positive 6, and we multiply positive 6 times a negative number, any negative number, we're going to get a negative answer. 6 times 1 is 6, so we're going to have a negative 6 as our answer. If we could flip those and put the negative first. Let's say we have negative 3, and we multiply that times positive 2. We're going to still end up with a negative answer because there's one negative in the multiplication problem. So again, we get negative 6. Both answers in this case are negative. In the previous case, both answers are positive. That's how you get positive answers and negative answers. Thank you.